It's been a while, hasn't it? Have you ever imagined what it would be like if Star Wars Battlefront 2 from 2017 was never cancelled by EA? All of us are probably sick and tired of playing the same old Battlefront 2 if we haven't stopped already, even though in my opinion this game is so good and it looks amazing as well, especially for being 7 years old. I actually turned 7 years old this week as well. All we want is just new characters with unique playable abilities, maybe some new maps as well, just to spice the game up a little bit. Well, luckily, once again, Star Wars Gaming has been carried by its amazing community with the power of modding. This is Battlefront Expanded. Here we go. If you're new here and love all things Star Wars Battlefront related and modding in general, leave a like on the video and subscribe for more, and check out my channel for loads more modding videos. Honestly, I love Star Wars mods. Subscribe to keep up with everything that comes out in the future, so you can change the game from this to then look like this. I mean, come on, look at how many there are. All of them have their own unique power abilities, and it's actually sick. For example, there are some on here that I think are so cool. For example, Bode from Jedi Survivor. He has a gun and a lightsaber and a jetpack. It is nuts. All of those characters that you saw on screen is not all of them. There are many, many more in-game, because they act as like the support heroes, not the main characters, if that makes sense. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want to run around as a Jawa, shooting people with shotguns? It is so fun to do. I think the Jawa is probably my favourite character. There is one person who I'm going to do a little live con with who is by far the best addition to this game by an absolute mile. So stay tuned for that coming up later on in the video. And also, let me know down in the comments down below if you see any character in this video that you want me to make a dedicated video to. I'll be sure to do that in the very close future. If you're wanting to play this mod for yourself and test it out for yourself, use the timestamps down below and it's also links in the description of where you can get this mod and at the end of the video I will also be showing you how to download this mod it can be a little bit tricky but we can get there i want everyone to experience this so just a quick reminder this mod is still in early access so we're still in the alpha stages we need to cut them a little bit of slack there is the odd glitch here and there so what else is included in this mod as well as unique abilities and extra skins and just extra heroes in general they also have custom voice lines and custom sounds pulled from the movies themselves i can't believe the level of detail that they've gone into with this mod and it's free it's free for the game it's just mental to me just as a tiny snippet here is one of the examples of the voice lines from in-game. I will show you what I can do. My rage will destroy you. So as well as the voice lines, we also have sound effects pulled from the movies themselves. For example, this one right here. We have Django Fett, and this is one of my favourite noises from any series of anything ever. I don't know why, it's a gun noise, but just listen. Oh my god! It's tiny my new details like that that just make this mod that much better than everyone else that I've seen. This is absolutely huge. I love it. I can't stop playing this game. I don't normally play games offline, for example like Instant Action, but I've been having such a blast just playing this. Also, on that subject, this mod is actually going to have capabilities to work in Kyber V2. If you don't know what Kyber V2 is, it is another community made project that actually gives us capabilities to use mods like this mod to play online in private and public servers. I cannot wait. It's a work in progress, but they do have their own Discord, which you can keep up to date with any progress that they make. I would advise definitely joining this and keeping up to date. I'll leave a link to this Discord down in the description. Also, if you made it this far into the video, leave a comment down below that says, For the Republic. That would be greatly appreciated, just to let me know that you're still here. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. I've got enough points. Oh, there's a Jawa there. Hello. Look at his little eyes. Anyway, if I skip this and I go to all of these characters, I do not give a crap about all of these. 
It's this guy right here. He's not one of the heroes. He is Rick the Dork Technician. If you know this guy from before, he is from the Jedi Survivor games and he is such a meme online and he's so funny. He even has his custom voice lines and abilities. I can't wait to use him. So just watching him sprint around here, he's got his little mace thing, his little sword thing. He's got some really cool abilities. He's also got his own charge ability as well, which I'm going to show you right here. If I can find any enemies, I think there's one around this corner as well. Here we go. Hello, Wookie. Oh, God, there's loads of people around here. Look at this. It's so sick. Oh, no. So looking at the, some of the other characters as well, we also have Lord Vader. From Revenge of the Sith in Episode 3, he looks sick. He's just basically normal Anakin mixed with Vader. He's got the cool abilities like him as well. The glowy eyes. He looks evil as ever. We also have Darth Jar Jar. This is just such a meme online, isn't it? It really is. We also have Starkiller. If you ever played Force Unleashed, I never played it properly. My brother loved this game, but this guy is so cool. We've also got the meme guy from the Lego Star Wars games who does absolutely nothing. <laughs> But in this game, he actually has a gun. And of course, I do not want to go through this whole video without showing you this guy right here. Dagon Jera, or Gera, or however you say his name. They managed to fit a player in with one arm. So he can run around with one arm like this. And one of his abilities is the force icon to actually make his arm appear. And then he goes double swords. That is sick. The level of detail in this mod is outrageous. And the fact that it's just one mod to download. One mod. Nothing else. You don't have to download hundreds of things. It is one mod. That is just mental. So I just showed you the dark side. We're now going to go through the Jedi side very briefly before we go on to how to actually install the mod itself. And there are some really cool characters on here. You've got Ayla Secura that I'm going to quickly go off because of certain reasons. And we've got Bo-Katan, which is really cool. We have Cal Kestis, which probably my favorite story in my games of recent years. We've got this guy that I'm not going to say his name on YouTube because I might get in trouble. And we have some Kiadi Mundi, a massive forehead geezer who's actually really cool to use. Kit Fisto as well, which I showed you earlier on in the video, who looks pretty sick. Obviously, everyone's favorite, Captain Rex. Another fan favorite, Din Djarin, the Mandalorian from the Mandalorian itself. Oh man, he, this guy is sick. Qui-Gon Jinn as well. There are so many good characters in this mod. I can't even understate how good this mod is. You need to check this out. We all need to play this and make sure Kyber V2 actually works because I want to play this online. So as you can see, this is Battlefront Expanded on Nexus Mods. Scrolling down here, as you can see, it adds 61 heroes and reinforcements and it will be used in Kyber. So I can't wait for that. Anyway, let's go to the files. You can click download on, where is it? This one right here. It's going to take a little while because it's 3.5 gig and the free version only downloads at 3 megabytes per second. So you're going to be waiting a while. Or the one I use is a testing build. It does look dodgy, but it's not because I use this myself. It's on the official Discord that I'll leave a link to in the description down below. Everybody talks to each other in there all about this mod and Star Wars mods in general. And you can keep up to date with the progress of this mod as well. So I use this one. So you can click download and it'll take you to this Battlefront testing. There you go. It's 4.3. So it's larger and it'll download way quicker because it's on Google Drive. All right, here we go. So when, now it's downloaded and you can see at the top of your screen here, it's a big old boy. You now want to add it into Frosty. Once it's been added, it will be this one thing right here which you can click the plus and it's got every file for all the characters and everything in it it's so cool it's huge it's absolutely massive as you can see here this is the battlefront expanded discord i'm in the test builds version so there's the link to it right there but you want to go into general and then the pinned messages will show you the running order that you need to do so join this discord first then load it all in here i'm in here as well so you can speak to me if you like and enjoy it for yourself i love this mod so much Please like, subscribe. If you want to see an extended version of how to add this and I can show you every step of the way, leave a like and let me know down in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.